Hi, and thank you for visiting my channel. For more information, kindly subscribe and follow. Now let's get started. After the beatdown that Roman Reigns suffered from the bloodline on last week's SmackDown, it's clear that the original tribal chief needs allies to take on Solo Sokoa's faction. Currently, Reigns only has Jimmy USO by his side. On this week's edition of Monday Night Raw, Jimmy tried to persuade Jay USO to reunite, but the YEET master refused the proposal. One probable option regarding a new ally for Roman Reigns could be one of his biggest rivals, The Undertaker. The Dead Man retired from the Squared Circle in 2020. His last match was against AJ Styles at WrestleMania 36. However, the veteran did get involved in the Bloodline storyline at this year's WrestleMania. The Demon of Death Valley appeared during the undisputed WWE Universal Championship match between Roman and Cody Rhodes. He delivered a chokeslam to The Rock, enabling the American Nightmare to win the title. This connection could serve as a compelling angle for The Undertaker's comeback, this time to aid Roman Reigns in his battle. The Dead Man and the original Tribal Chief share a storied history in WWE, with Reigns being only the second person to defeat the Phenom at WrestleMania after Brock Lesnar. The inclusion of The Undertaker in this family drama would undoubtedly raise excitement levels among fans. While this scenario seems highly unlikely, given that it's the Triple H era, anything is possible, especially after seeing Roman and Cody team up at Bad Blood. However, if this fantasy scenario materializes, it would likely only be for a brief period until Roman Reigns secures more permanent allies. Has Roman Reigns ever teamed up with his biggest rival before in WWE? This might come as a surprise to many fans, but yes, the original Tribal Chief and The Undertaker have teamed up once in WWE. This occurred at Extreme Rules 2019. At that time, Roman Reigns was engaged in a rivalry with Shane McMahon and Drew McIntyre, but he was struggling with the numbers game. To even the odds, the Phenom resurfaced in WWE and decided to join forces with the erstwhile Big Dog. This led to a no-holds-barred tag team match at Extreme Rules 2019. The match lasted 17 minutes and ended with Taker and Reigns securing the victory. The full match video is also available on WWE's official YouTube channel with over 100 million views and more than 1 million likes. This shows that fans loved the pairing of Taker and Reigns, and now, with the OTC being at the top of the mountain and adored worldwide, a reunion of these two would undoubtedly generate massive numbers for the company. Roman Reigns sat in his private locker room, his championship belt glistening under the dim lights. The undisputed WWE Universal Champion leaned back in his chair, feeling the weight of the crumbling bloodline on his shoulders. His cousins, the Usos, had long betrayed him. Solo Sokoa, once his trusted enforcer, was now conflicted, questioning his loyalty. Paul Heyman, the wise man, still whispered in his ear, but even his counsel seemed less convincing as Roman's empire teetered on the edge of destruction. As the tribal chief stared into the distance, thinking about how to reclaim control, a knock on the door jolted him from his thoughts. Paul Heyman entered, a nervous look in his eyes. Tribal chief, there's something you need to know, Heyman began, his voice trembling. The bloodline is unraveling faster than we expected. Jay and Jimmy are rallying forces backstage. There's talk of new alliances. We're running out of time. Roman gritted his teeth, anger bubbling beneath the surface. I am the head of the table, Paul. I've conquered every challenger. They will fall, just like everyone before them. But, Heyman hesitated, clearly reluctant to continue. There's someone who could tip the scales in our favor. Someone who might be willing to come out of retirement. Roman narrowed his eyes. Who? Heyman's voice dropped to a near whisper. It's someone you know very well, someone you've shared the ring with in the past. Your greatest rival, John Cena. The name hit Roman like a punch to the gut. John Cena, the man who had challenged him for the throne, the face of WWE for over a decade before Roman claimed that position himself. Cena had retired from full-time competition a few years ago, but his influence still loomed large over the industry. 
The idea of Cena standing by his side seemed almost impossible. Cena was a symbol of everything Roman had fought against. But desperate times called for desperate measures. Roman shook his head. Cena's done. He's not coming back to fight my battles. And even if he did, why would he join me? He's been against me his entire career. Heyman smirked, a glimmer of hope returning to his eyes. Perhaps because the bloodline is more dangerous than ever. Jay and Jimmy are no longer your allies. They formed something entirely new, something they believe is bigger than the bloodline itself. They're calling it the Ancestral Reckoning, and they're recruiting anyone with a vendetta against you. Roman's face darkened. The idea of the Usos forming their own faction, rallying forces against him, was a direct threat to his reign. The bloodline was no longer just a family story, it was becoming a war for supremacy in WWE. They're coming for everything you've built, tribal chief, Heyman added. And they have the numbers. Roman stood up, his presence commanding as ever. Cena won't join me. He's too proud. That's where you're wrong, a voice from the doorway interrupted. Both men turned to see none other than John Cena himself, standing there with his signature smirk. He was dressed in his iconic jean shorts, though his hair was grayer, and there was a wisdom in his eyes that only years away from the ring could bring. He stepped into the room confidently, as if he owned it. John, Roman said, barely masking his surprise. What the hell are you doing here? I'm here because I've been watching everything unfold, and I don't like what I'm seeing, Cena replied, his tone serious. You and I, we've been through wars. We've fought over this industry, over the fans, over that title on your shoulder. But this isn't about us anymore. The bloodline, the ancestral reckoning, it's tearing WWE apart. Jay and Jimmy are out of control. They think they're the ones who should be at the head of the table, but they're forgetting one thing, you're still the tribal chief. Roman crossed his arms, skeptical. And you think I need your help to stop them? Cena chuckled. You need someone who knows what it's like to fight for something bigger than yourself. You may not like it, but right now, you're the only one who can stop this from turning into complete chaos. And whether I like it or not, I'm the one who can help you do it. Roman paced the room, considering Cena's words. Cena had always been the golden boy of WWE, the one who stood for honor, loyalty, and respect, values that Roman had scoffed at during his reign. But Cena was also a man who had never backed down from a fight, even when the odds were against him. Why now, Cena? Why help me after all this time? Roman asked, his voice laced with suspicion. Cena leaned in closer, his expression uncharacteristically serious. Because there's more at stake here than just your title. Jay and Jimmy aren't just trying to take over, they're trying to rewrite the story of your family. They want to erase everything you've built. And as much as you and I have been rivals, I respect what you've done. This business doesn't need more chaos, it needs a leader. Right now, that's you. The silence between them was heavy. Roman could feel the weight of the decision pressing on him. Joining forces with John Cena was the last thing he had ever imagined, but maybe it was exactly what he needed to keep the bloodline from collapsing completely. All right, Roman finally said, extending his hand. We do this my way. You follow my lead. Cena clasped Roman's hand in a firm shake. Deal. But don't think this makes us friends, Roman. We're just fighting a common enemy. The partnership between Roman Reigns and John Cena sent shockwaves through WWE. The ancestral reckoning was gaining strength, with the Usos recruiting old allies and new faces to join their cause. The bloodline civil war was reaching its peak, and now, with Cena back in action, the stakes were higher than ever. In the weeks leading up to their inevitable clash, tensions mounted. Cena and Roman, despite their alliance, still had unresolved issues simmering beneath the surface. Every promo, every backstage confrontation, was tinged with an undercurrent of mistrust and rivalry. But when they finally stood together in the ring, facing down Jay and Jimmy USO and their army, it was clear that this was more than just a battle for family honor. It was a battle for the future of WWE. 
The twist wasn't just that Cena had come out of retirement. It was that, for the first time in years, Roman Reigns had a true equal by his side. And in the war against the bloodline, that was the most dangerous weapon of all.